Yo, what's going on, guys? Boy, Uj back again once again, and uh, we got a brand new chapter, Dragon Ball Super Chapter 76. Now, usually, um, at least with what's been going on in life, uh, we've been trying to keep the discussions to the latest chapters to the Full Power Podcast, and that's kind of why there was no Chapter 75 reaction for Dragon Ball Super Manga, so I'm sorry about that if you were looking forward to that one. However, if you do want to know our complete thoughts, my complete thoughts, and review of the chapter you can definitely check out the the corresponding full power podcast episode here on youtube or on spotify or wherever you can get your podcast at but since uh we're not able to put out a new episode uh, as of yet still at this very moment uh kai has been going through a, a big transition with his move and whatnot so he's still trying to get settled in and all that stuff so i'm not trying to rush him or anything so definitely if you're not full power podcast is still around but i'm not trying to have a podcast by myself so that's essentially how that goes so i figure we'll do the reactions for this one and uh yeah you know the drill let's get right into it okay so this is the fate of the saiyans so here we go so there's been a lot of fighting going on of course if you guys have been keeping up with the manga oh damn vegeta oh look is he dodging rolling yeah he's trying to duck he's trying to duck these shots right now because my man granola got he got that power up right 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 okay here we go he's got the finger guns pointed at him what's wrong my attacks aren't in, in invigorating you anymore curse you vegeta says pew 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 I, I can only imagine what the sound effects sound like it literally says pew 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 on the screen too that's funny and he's like a lot faster too he got like a whole boost vegeta is powered down now no more super ego whatever you called it the universe is proving me right since fate has clearly decided that you saiyans are doomed to die vegeta grabs him by the ankle he's like you speak too soon and he goes huh he's like get off me He's trying to kick him off and he goes i am the master of my own fate okay so vegeta still got some fight left in him granola says learn hits him to realize hits him again win boom you've lost and oh here comes goku for the save looks like he's in super saiyan blue form kakara you again you're still on your feet hanging hanging in there vegeta i'll take over from here Yo, Vegeta, you just kicked him in the side. Why? Yeesh, what gives, Vegeta? And he goes, take over. Not if I have a say. And then he knocks, he punches Goku straight in the face. And now they're in water. He goes, there's no one I'd rather beat to hell and back than you, Kakarot. But Goku goes, come on, man. You sure picked a moment for this old attitude. Facts. We haven't seen Vegeta like that in a long time. Vegeta says, you seem confused, but know that I've only ever agreed to fight side by side when we had something to protect. Hmm. Goku says, protect, huh? How about preserving your own life? Or are you trying to get yourself killed here? Vegeta says, better that than teaming up with you. I don't like this back and forth that they have. And I'm not talking about this conversation. I'm talking about the whole entire series of Dragon Ball. Okay, they have been literally a roller coaster with how they've been. I mean, Goku's been pretty consistent, I will say. Like, obviously, like, he's just a knucklehead. He's kind of, you know, there's really no one up there, right? You know, he's he's pretty, he stayed pretty consistent. Vegeta has gone through a lot of character development, but this, seeing him say stuff like this is just like, come on, dude. You've gone through so much, especially with this guy, and now you're going to whip out some lines like that? I don't know who to blame, the character or the writers. Okay, here we go. So, Granola coming through for the sneak attack. He's, he's going with what looks like to be a... Probably like a like a pressure point. He's going right for the abdomen. Goku goes, Vegeta! Oh, it looks like he got him too. Vegeta gets knocked back into uh, some sort of brick types. Of, oh, he knocked him out. He's uh, he's done. Vegeta's done. You see, he see, he see, he's he's slumped. He is asleep right now. Goku is like has his hands out right now. He goes, lucky timing. No, how did you react in time? So it looks like it seems like Goku might have moved Vegeta a little bit, so that way Granola didn't like puncture a pressure point that would have really got him all messed up, possibly. So we'll see what Goku says. He goes, "I've got a read on 
your whole targeting our vitals thing. It's not going to work on me anymore. Granola says, ha ha, a read, you say. Thanks for the laugh, but I'm calling your bluff. So now it looks like Granola's trying to hit him with some after image type technique. But Goku's ready, though. He gets hit in the back of the head. Knocks him out. What's going on here? He, Granola says, you really should have stayed down the first time I put you there. Wait your turn. I'll extract Freeze's location from you in a moment. Uh-oh, he gets shot down. Okay, Goku's not done. It looked like he was, though, because the hair was all powered down and everything. My man looked like he was dead. Maybe Goku's uh, playing possum. Probably. So, Granola gets shot in the back. He goes, what, what now? And Goku goes, that same move was never going to work on me forever. Okay. Granola comes, charges in, punches Goku in the stomach. Or no, he doesn't have to punch the same, the same uh, finger strike. Goku looks to like kind of just take it, takes his hand up and then punches Granola in the stomach, knocks him back down. Granola tries to get quickly back up. He goes, shifting your vitals out of harm's way. Goku says, yup, there's the smallest pause between you locking onto your vitals and the attack that follows. What? That's crazy. Goku says, I can't dodge the attack completely, but at least I can shift enough to make sure you don't hit where it really hurts. That's so weird. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll take it. You don't say, says Granola. You've actually thought this through, and I suppose your evasion technique makes that possible. Still, your strategy is pure defense. Without attacks of your own, you'll never manage to surpass me. Goku says, you're not wrong. That could be a problem. Ooh, damn. Okay. So now Vegeta starts to slowly wake up. He goes, ugh. He gets out of where he was. He sees that they're both fighting back and forth. He goes, Gakara. Ooh, gets a nice, uh, solid blow to the face. Granola says, not good enough. But then he kicks Goku right back, sends him right back down to the ground. And there he is. For the second time this chapter alone, he is down into base form. Mm. It's not looking good. Darn. My body won't last much longer. While he's been taking us both on all on his own. Kakarot. I'm tagging in. <sighs> Goku says, really? Why are you so obsessed with doing this alone? Hard to say. Think of it as a stubborn Saiyan pride if you want. Oh, he says, think of it as stubborn Saiyan pride if you want. And you can really beat him. Oh, but it looks like Granola's getting a little tired too. So... Here's the thing, guys, right? We all, we, all, we all know and love Dragon Ball for what it is. We understand, like, how this goes, okay? We really do. The thing is, after how many years, you know, like, like how, how, many, how, how, how many more times could they possibly give us the same, like, I want to fight them by myself type stuff? That's all I'm saying. You know, like, a lot of people, and I agree with this statement, Vegeta has probably gone through the most character development out of a lot of characters in Dragon Ball especially. So when's the part where he develops into just being okay and recognizing that, you know, if he teams up with Goku, they'll have a better time. They'll have an easier time. They'll have, like, it's the smarter thing to do. You know, I understand, like, they're saying pride is always going to be there, but... Like, come on. Like, if they if they realize and they understand that there's a threat that could be on some, you know, Thanos-type stuff, you know, lack of a better term, then why... Like, my man Vegeta has been making some crazy judgment calls as of the entirety of Super, right? He's been, like, really on some development. Like, even when he said, like, his pride was preventing him from doing instant transmission... Because that was a Goku thing. The fact that he did it because he realized, he was aware. He was like, if I don't do it, then it's going to be, it's going to mean a lot worse or th worse things. I mean, maybe they're looking at Granola and they're probably like, he, we know that he's not internally evil. So we still want to do this, this, the 1v1 route. Honestly, a lot of I feel like a lot they would have gotten themselves out of a lot of trouble had they just teamed up. Whether it was 
individually teaming up at the same time, like fighting, you know, simultaneously, or they just fused. Simple as that. So here we go. Granola is weakened. Vegeta says he only just learned to unleash this side of his own power, so he won't last long either. Vegeta continues, he'll most likely hit his limit soon. That'll be my opening for victory. Please, allow me to do this alone. Goku says, fine. Try not to die, Vegeta. Vegeta just keeps looking on. And Goku, like, stares at him. So, it really... They're giving this impression that... Vegeta's gonna just... Sack himself. Again. And if he... Dude, I'm telling you right now. If he even thinks about doing what he did against Majin Buu... The self-destruct technique... I'm I'm looking at you, Toyotaro. I don't understand what's going on here. That that that's that's where that's where I'm pointing my finger at now. At that point, if that's where we're going in that direction. So now Vegeta's up in the sky. He says, "You again?" As Granola, sorry, still fighting alone. Your minds work in mysterious ways, I must say. Vegeta says, "And yours isn't exactly playing with a full deck." That drive for revenge has rotted away whatever whatever is in your head. Granola says, come again? <sighs> Vegeta says, you think you survived all this time just to take revenge on us? There's nothing more to your life? Granola stops and thinks for a second. Vegeta says, very well. Who am I to deny this grand mission of yours? No regrets then. Hit me with everything you can muster. Goku, no he's, he's watching Vegeta. <sighs> he's powering up again. Looks like he goes right back into that Super Saiyan ego form. But you already hit your limit. Vegeta goes, as I explained, this power is unbounded. It has no limits. So, before I continue, I want to say this. When I read, when I say, when I read Vegeta saying that, and I and I understand his character, because we all know how Vegeta is, right? When he says this power is unbounded, do you really believe like that is the truth? Because let's face it, these ga these guys, these Saiyans, right? They are always on some pride stuff. They're always about, you know, they're fighting and whatnot, and they're always trying to one up whoever there that is. Even when they got nothing left in the tank, we've seen it plenty of times from Goku. We've seen it plenty of times from Vegeta. I feel like this is no different. I feel like that statement in itself is a bluff to Granola. Because if that's the case, then realistically, he should be able to unlock this form at any point in time. Whether he's about to die, where he got no stamina, no energy, no nothing. And I have to question it because I have to question it, right? So now Granola goes, oh no. He tries to block whatever is about to come. Vegeta's... Oh, he, he approaches them, knocks them. Granola's going back. He manages to uh, catch himself. Vegeta goes in for the rider kick. Dynamic entry. Wait, wait. Not here. Take this elsewhere. So they're in an area that looks to be... Uh, um, wow, I can't think of basic words right now. I'm just like... <laughs> It's being this whole this whole city is being protected in a dome right now, and Granola's like, no, not here. Takes elsewhere. Vegeta goes, oh, and here I thought you didn't care about anything. He's still he's still hitting them. Granola's like taking the blows. He's defending himself. He's like, I said, not here, and he hits Vegeta back. Vegeta literally smiles and bites his wrist. He's chomping on his wrist. Granola's screaming in pain. Throws Vegeta back. He goes, you animal. Vegeta says, ha, ha, ha. Can't quite use your precious rapid fire moves here, can you? Oh, but he got the finger gun right point in his face. Granola says, at this range, the city will be fine. Oh, my God. <gasps> oh, my God. He's really shooting them. Point blank range. Oh, boy. So now you see the dust kind of forming itself. Vegeta is done, son. Now, noticeably, though, Granola, one of his eyes kind of... He went out as well. 
So he's not in his like super granola form, if you will. Granola says, learned your lesson yet, saying, what's cracking? So something's cracking next to him. Whoa, what's this? It like, there was like a pot or something that opened up and then they have these like, Sephorians, what, what? Now he's having a flashback. He's thinking back to when the Saiyans was attacking everybody. And he's running. Granola. Mommy. Oh, snap. We're seeing Miss Granola. Okay, you made it back to me, my little one. Yeah, the others helped me get away. Oh, so he thought back to that moment when he's looking at these... This 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 uh, alien race right here is like the mother and their kid. And he goes, ah, oh, oh no. Any grudges against us Saiyans are well deserved. How could I object to you to destroying me here and now? Vegeta is like really struggling to even stand up. He goes, however, by eradicating the Saiyans, aren't you just repeating history? You Cerulean's were never such a savage tribe, were you? And he goes, he's all alarmed. He says, that's nonsense. This planet was a peaceful one. Your people took everything from us, and I'll never move past that. And he hits Vegeta back out of that dome. Now he's hitting the rocks. Now they go back outside. At last, I found my true resolve. I'm prepared to burn away my very life here. I'll summon every bit of power to, take, to make sure you stay dead. Now he's got the double finger guns. Got, oh man, he's got the whole blast right in. I can hear it. He goes, my revenge against Frieza himself will have to wait until we're both in hell. Vegeta says, hmm. So I couldn't cut it. Apologies, Lord Beerus. I couldn't revert to the callous, unfeeling man I once was. That god of destruction power was beyond the scope of a novice like me. You gotta be kidding me right now. Vegeta stands up. He goes, is this... He says, this is the Saiyan's fate. So be it. Goku literally is like, they're both willing to die? No, don't. Goku starts to charge at them, but then notices like a, a spacecraft nearby. Who's that? Oh, that man. It can't be. Oatmeal. What was the Saiyan who Granola is tangling with? Or it's like, was that the Saiyan who Granola is tangling? And it says, correct. There is another as well. Uh, of all the crazy things so that blast is he got he sent he sent he's about to send it out oh wait a second is he gonna get in the way oh no there granola's down there oh man but goku's trying to approach him and he can't like he gets blasted away just from what's going on he goes darn it can't get any closer we meet our doom together. Vegeta's just standing there. No, knock it off, Granola. Goku and Vegeta look up. Granola looks up. Monaito? You're here. Why? Oh, there's his chance. Goku's shoulder tackles him right there. Knocks him down. Goku says, don't be stupid. You too, Vegeta. What are you thinking? Go Vegeta smirking. Granola says, you again? Uh, the the spaceship lands. He goes, oatmeal. I should have known. Meddling in my business. Okay, and here comes uh, Monaito. I forgot his name. I haven't seen him in a while. Goku's like, huh? He's probably he's probably like another Namekian. Is that a Namekian? Says Vegeta. Goku says, how? What's a Namekian doing here? Why did you interfere, Monaito? Stand back and let me finish this. I just want it to end. I need this to be over. You've got some facts wrong, Granola. Sorry to say, it was a lie of mine that brought you here. There was one Saiyan who didn't earn your vengeance. What? Explain. I don't understand. 40 years back, the one who actually saved us was a Saiyan named Bardock! Yo! You, he's like, did I hear that right? A Saiyan was our savior? My, okay. This chapter was redeemed with that last freaking bit. I was not expecting that. Now I'm gonna lie. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that in the slightest way possible. Look, 
I'm over here thinking and predicting exactly what has been set out. And to a degree, a lot of it, you know, for a lot of these arcs especially, have came true. A lot of things that happen in Dragon Ball Super are very, like, like predictable, if you will. But that, I did not see coming at all. I will tell you guys right now, out of anything that could have been a thing, especially in this arc, hearing Burdock is Bardock, right? Hearing Bardock's name in this chapter, in this arc, in this everything right now is crazy awesome. So, you know what that means? That means that we're definitely going to see some flashback scenes. And most definitely in chapter 77, I would imagine we're going to see Bardock in a in this time frame saving Granola and that's fire. I'm actually really looking forward to that chapter even more so now. Sucks that we got to wait a month, but it is what it is. Overall, I thought the chapter was okay. I just, again, I just really am not a fan of what seems to be inconsistencies with what we would believe to be character development. Like, I don't understand why we're this late into the game and Goku and Vegeta are still button heads trying to, you know, one up each other with who who gets to fight first and who gets the one on one and all this stuff when they could just help each other out team up and realize like if a dude is as strong as he is and he is he's, he's posing a threat and that can mean worse things later down the line they really should put all that stuff aside and just handle it together and that's and that and that has been the underlying tone message and theme to dragon ball super not even just dragon ball super with just this relationship between goku and vegeta and Whis has only brought that to the forefront so much so that he's literally straight up said it he's like if you guys just work together y'all understand y'all could you know make a, that much of a difference right so all of with all that being said, we saw go both both Vegeta and Goku get knocked down into base, back into their other forms, and they're really having a, a hard time with Granola right now. But I feel like this at this moment we're gonna really get some more lore, which I love. I love seeing more lore backstory type things that take a part in the overall story of Dragon Ball, especially with a character like Bardock. Because listen. Well, last time we saw Bardock or heard him, seen him, was literally during when? Dragon Ball Super Broly. So, that's fire. I'm not going to lie. Um, like I said, I will most definitely have a Full Power Podcast episode uh, coming soon. Hopefully soon again. But just you know, keep in mind, Kai is moving in the process of getting settled in and whatnot. Uh, so... Uh, do look forward to future episodes of Full Power Podcast. And let me know what you guys thought of this episode, or this chapter, I should say, um, in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, me about Twitter, all that good stuff. Supporting links are going to be in the description. As always, make sure you guys are taking care of yourself. May the power protect you. Keep it locked and loaded right here on this channel. Stay safe, stay clean, and stay inside. I'll see you guys next time.